Hey guys, Nemi here. I thought I'd just make a quick video on Dim Drive. I happened to see it on the StarCraft forums yesterday with a pinned on the message board about Dim Drive being on sale on Steam right now. I uh, picked it up at about 51% discount, which ends up about being $4 or 51 Rand in South Africa. I I had a look at it and found that it mostly works with your Steam games, um, which was a bit disappointing because I actually wanted it for my non-Steam games, my Blizzard games, my Diablos, my Starcrafts, and my Overwatch. Um, and then having a having a look at it, I thought, oh wow, what, what a waste! But then I saw you can actually add your own games, and I thought, let me make a quick video. Uh, since I work as a, a systems engineer, or, or since recently a, a solutions architect um, at, at a corporate company, and thought maybe I can share some knowledge for those that don't know how to do it, and I'm going to do this on Overwatch. So let's just jump right in. Um, as you can see, Overwatch or none of my Blizzard games are on your StarCraft or Diablo, you know, um, and I really want to add Overwatch on there. From my side, I saw that, uh, or just to give you some some background, my system's about 24 gigs of memory. Um, I found that the Overwatch files that are locked in is about 13 gigs, so that's obviously eating up quite a bit of that memory. Uh, on this example, I already have some of it locked in, and Dim Drive creates this Z drive where it's it dumps your files but just to show you how I got to knowing what files to lock in which could be any files for any game really the easiest way to find out what you should be locking in is to open your task manager on Windows go to your performance tab open up resource monitor in resource monitor you'll see a bunch of tabs you might open up on memory or overview just navigate to the disk column and have a look at, at on your disk activity what's happening so if we look right now this video file that I'm recording right now is the one that's being most used by the disk right so you can either sort by total bytes per second you know being processed but the way these RAM drives work is your disk typically has some cache on it for the writes but the reads are the things that really add to your loading screen so the real thing you wanna look at it what should be optimized is your reads so the best way to see what what we want to to trap in there is to have a look when we open up our overwatch what files pop in here and those are the files we're gonna pin into ram drive um, let me disable mine and let's let's have a look quickly so it's just stopping okay great wonderful so if we open up our overwatch and I hit play I should see Overwatch popping in as a process. There we go. And here are all the files. So, cache files, some data files. Let's just tab back there. So, yeah, you can see the Overwatch data files. My Overwatch is currently installed C program files, Overwatch data. And, um, and there's some cache there which we can lock in as well but as you can see there's some real heavy reads going on right now and that's what we want to avoid with something like Dim Drive Fight Tab back into Overwatch you can see the game is still loading actually it's really taking its time reading all those data files for us to have a pleasant gaming experience and finally we're in and if I for instance open up training and I go to something like the practice range enter the practice range great and we'll be sort of A4 away right all right anyway that that's that's our game Being screen last time I timed is about 20 seconds without that as you can see these data files are still being read so that's the path we really want to lock in to Overwatch. So if I go there on my C drive, program files, Overwatch, um, it was talking about this cache file. It's not very big. I think it's a few megs, if that much, three megs. 
where if we look at the data files you can see here they are and and these are the bulk ones you know they're 13 gigs um, you know and overwatch in total is 13.2 so selecting any files we need we're gonna save 200 mix which isn't a hell of a lot but that is that is what we're gonna lock in so for me to lock that in I, I open up my dim drive you go to this apps folder you open up your overwatch folder in this case and as you can see there it creates this little folder called the junction path typically so when something tries to access this cache folder it will actually access dim drive right so you just click it drag it drop it and it will create the symlink for you and then keep track of those files and lock them in when you when you want to play something like overwatch so these files being here now there's their sizes and if I click this on button it will activate dim drive what you'll see is it will create a drive here a Z drive depending on your settings I think Z is the default and um, and it's got this alert boom which is which is really bad but let's just leave it there for now <laughs> and then uh, if it, so let's enable it and it will copy all these files to our dim drive and then our next launch will be off dim drive so the moment we click it it prepares this drive creates the Z drive we see here and starts transferring these files so it says here, you know it's 13 gigs left to copy 16 files it needs to do for us to use this application and we just have to wait for it to to transfer all of that that across so the whole idea here is is obviously that your disk uh, my disk in particular I, I have the C drive oh, I have the C drive which is uh, a normal SATA one terabyte and I have this D drive which is not where watch is but that's a bit of a RAID configuration or RAID 5 um, but on the SATA disk it's got a, a, a head and it spins on a platter and especially when you have lots of files like this you have to read you know it has to reposition every time to read different and it's that disk seeking like we call it that really slows down your loading times really adds unnecessary overhead which we don't want when we want to play a game fast especially if you're like me in that you get stuck in one or two games at a time it's not like you're launching game after game you know you can lock those game files in and then whenever you play your favorite game the loading is a lot faster so having looked at resource monitor finding these files we want to lock into dim drive you can see it reading those files into into our dim drive um, it it will actually speed up those loading screens a lot so like I said it took about 20 seconds last time I checked uh, to to open up the game where let's see how long it takes now after dim drives completed you know locking these in so see what I mean with the sound it's crazy so on the Z drive we have this cache and data file now and they should be 13 gigs in size you know from our from our game directory and then in our game directory we're gonna have these junction paths so if the game ever tries to read it it will be redirected to our dim drive which will actually service it a lot quicker than than the normal slow reading disk we have so let's launch it again and have a look so funny thing you'll actually see that um, notice that your dim drive doesn't pop up in performance monitor it doesn't show that it's reading from Z because it's actually in memory processing happening so that was like three or four seconds it's a lot faster and then when we go to the practice range same loading screen but also you know very fast no problems you know and and that's what we want when we we want to play our game right so let's see what the difference is with our dim drive so that was like two three seconds loading screen um, uh, and I like doing it the other way around like this way because typically now I have a warm cache I have some stuff locked in memory so the only difference here will be whether I have my game files in them drop on this so let's turn this off and it will actually sync back to disk and now if I click launch again you'll see the game files popping in here again on, on our resource monitor so let's have a look let's click, click run again 
So again, the Overwatch EXE, and there we go, all those cache files. files you know, our game's launching. We're waiting patiently. We're waiting patiently. <laughs> We're having this poor disk, you know, reading all those small, f all those different files, trying to make sense of the data at the same time, you know, in a serial manner. It's got something like a disk queue where it tries to be intelligent on how it moves around, but as you can see, that process is just a lot slower and takes a lot longer to do when having to do it off something like a SATA disk. I'm sure if you have a SSD disk, you have a different experience because it works a lot like memory. You know, the access is instantaneous. It's not a, a disk head to rerun. And you can see now it is a lot. It's loaded eventually. It took, took quite some time. But, but we're there. So if we enter the practice range, it looks like even the screen takes a little bit longer. Not that much, but a little bit longer. Let's pick somebody else just for the hell of it. <laughs> so, you know, that's what we... That's them drive in a nutshell. Um, it makes quite the difference, especially with the loading screens, you know, at the start of the games. Especially if you like single-player games, you know, those switching between areas or loading new level. That is where them drive will really show its flair, you know. Loading those things a hell of a lot faster. And there we can see see those discs again. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I think the, the, the key takeouts are whatever game you want, it doesn't matter. The easiest way to see what they are is uh, open up Resource Monitor by going Task Manager, going to Performance tab, clicking Open Resource Monitor, which will open this. Go to your Disk tab. Make sure you sort it by most reads. Launch your game, Alt Tab out, and have a look at what files are being read navigate to those folders, uh, open up your dim drive and then drag and drop those folders from Windows Explorer into dim drive and I think that that's what you want to uh, uh, that's where you're going to see the most benefit you know on those files especially the ones that's that takes long to load um, being locked into dim drive and just make sure you have enough space um, on what you want to lock in you know that that you're not going to run out of something silly like memory so, um, yeah, I mean, and, and you can actually see it in Dim Drive, you know, how this memory graph picks right up as, as it starts copying those files. Make sure you have some <laughs> left for your game as well, right? So, uh, yeah, you can see how it's actually transferring, eating up that memory. I found with my 24 gigs, you know, having that 4 or 7 gigs available up there, because it's effectively swapping memory with memory, it's fine. It's it's it does its job well. It's not reading from disk, and I think that's that's the big difference and why the loading screen is so much better. So thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, you, that you you put on your own games. I was actually sad to see when I looked up Dim Drive and I I got up this morning to play around with it and I went to the forums and somebody was saying hey they want to do Overwatch as well and um, they want to put Overwatch in Dim Drive and there was just no help on the forum uh, by anybody so I hope the video helps that person I'll be sure to go post it on, on, on that forum post as well but uh, effectively any game you can use this method to lock it into Dim Drive and get the most out of your purchase. Thanks guys, have fun, cheers.